The darkest days are those where one can't go and switch on the light. The patriots and the inmates of the cellular jail struggle through a lot of those dark days. Inmates of the famed cellular jail Randaman are the worst than, than any other prisoners in India. Only the worst of the worst should go there. Well, before we start, pressing the subscribe button would highly be appreciated. Now, let's talk about it. Let's go. The cellular jail was where the British kept the most notorious of their prisoners. Most of them were political. In fact, the prison itself was built by the prisoners. The people who suffered the most were the indigenous tribes who were forced to help in building the prison. If they didn't, they were killed. But first, the geography. The Andaman Islands are located in the Bay of Bengal. The original inhabitants of the island are believed to be the descendants of the original humans in Africa. The current residents living there are mainly from the mainland who have moved there now. The Chola king used it as a naval base and, the la and later the British inhabited it. The British used it as a storage area after which they made it a political prison. The prisoners built the prison for 10 long years and it had 7 wings with a central guard tower in the middle so that it could be guarded with ease. And boy was it guarded well. The guards were ever present, but the unique construction made sure that less guards could monitor the activity of the prison. The jailer of the cellular jail was a guy named David Barry and he was a torturer for the inmates. In his opening address to the prisoners, David Barry spoke a lot about how the prison was monitored strictly and how if anyone tried to escape, they would be punished severely. And believe it or not, no prisoner has escaped the cellular jail. Any attempt to escape the jail was quickly put down by the officials and later it was declared as an inescapable prison. Many of India's most famous political prisoners were brought to this island. But the most famous of them was Vinayak Damodar Savarkar or Veer Savarkar as he's commonly known. Savarkar stayed in the prison for 10 years between 1911 and 1921. But those 10 years was what made history. Damodar spent most of his time in solitary confinement like most other prisoners did. But he definitely was not the only one who suffered. All the inmates of the cellular jail suffered and were tortured horrendously. Not a single one was spared. British were harsh when it came to handing out punishments. They gave cruel punishments to anyone who didn't work properly or anyone who argued with the guards. The worst punishment was of all was when they had to stand handcuffed against a wall and not move for a week. The people who suffered the most were the indigenous tribes who were forced to help to make the prison, after which they were massacred. Like most stories in history, the indigenous people were thrown out of their own homes and that's the part that hurts the most. Life on the island, as a few former prisoners said, was as close to hell as it could get. The prisoners were given a bare minimum to eat and a bare minimum to survive. They had no rights and were basically made to live in the worst living conditions possible. The prisoners started to go on hunger strikes. And one particular person, Mahabir Singh, died when guards forced milk down his throat. His body was put in a bag and along with some weight, thrown into the ocean. Somehow, the people still had hope. There was a small shimmer of light shining on them and that's what got them through. Many Indians started signing petitions and slowly, many prisoners were evacuated from the island. And soon, in the 1930s, there was no cellular jail anymore. This story shows that a glimmer of hope is all it takes to overcome a difficult situation. We take our lives for granted. If you are watching this video now, you are privileged. You have a thing which a lot of people don't have. So let's be grateful. Show your gratefulness for this life instead of one in a cell in the undermans. By just saying a few words of gratitude before you sleep. 
Thank everyone around you for this luck that you've been given that you don't have to spend your time and worry that you're going to wake up in a jail to a torture. Lastly, we salute our brave hearts who survived in these inhumane conditions and still got up another day to fight for the freedom of our country. Share this video as a thanks to them as it is because of them that we get to sleep peacefully at night. And we'll see you next time when we go back to reality.